Hello and welcome to Coqui Club. Bienvenidos. So, bienvenidos. That, thank you for the wave, Michael. We are happy to see everyone today and we know that many of you have visited us at El Museo del Barrio and today Coqui Club gets to visit you in your home. El Museo in tu casa. Sí, My name is... Algunos de ustedes se encontraron con nosotros en El Museo del Barrio, pero hoy estamos en la computadora juntos. That's right. Um, me, my name is Julia, and I'm an educator at El Museo del Barrio. Mi nombre es Edwin, también soy educador en el museo. And we are going to get started today, Edwin and friends, by wiggling our fingers. Vamos a ah, movernos. Vamos a los deditos. Dedito, deditos. Can you stretch your arms out and wiggle? Y los hombros. Oof, Vamos that's right. Brazos. That's right. I see. I see people. I, who is this, my friend here? I see you all. And then we're going to do some shoulder shrugs and roll our head. Vamos a mover los hombros y la cabeza. Right, Edwin? Sí, Perfect. muy bien. Gracias, Julia. No, great job moving our bodies, everyone. Okay, so I have a question for all my coquis today. We are named after a special amphibian, the coqui. Does anybody know what a coqui is? ¿Quién sabes qué es un coqui? Coqui Club es, el, es, es por el coqui. El coqui de adonde es? ¿Quién what sabes? What is a coqui? Does anybody know? Raise your hand and we can call on you. Marcus has Marcus. his hand up. Wait, 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 Marcus. We can't hear you. Hold You're on. muted. Go ahead. Marcus, what's a coqui? What's a coqui, Marcus? Frog. It's oh, very frog. good. That's right. Muy bien. ¿Y cómo se dice en español? ¿Cómo se dice en español el animal? Ana? Ana Martínez? ¿Nos quieres decir? Tienen que poner el volumen. Sapo. Sapo. Es un sapo, sapo. sí. Sapo. Muy That's bien. Right. También se, en español se puede decir rana. That's right. Rana or sapo. And I have a question. Well, Otra not a pregunta. question. Have, perdón. Sí, Ante muy bien. Pregunta, I, have to, I want to tell you all that the, the, the coqui is a tiny, tiny frog. Ah, sí. Es muy pequeño. It's so, so tiny, and it comes from the beautiful island of Puerto Rico. Has ah. anybody heard of this island? Y los coquis se encuentran en la isla hermosa de Puerto Rico. ¿Quién ha oído de Puerto Rico anteriormente? Has anybody heard from Puerto You can just raise your hand if you have, and if you haven't, today we're actually going to look at a, a map, so we'll see it, where it is. So we always like to start our time together by singing the coqui song. And we will sing the cookie song two times, twice in English. And then at the end of the program, we're going to sing it again in Español, in Spanish. Vamos a, este, usualmente empezamos Coqui Club con eh, cantar una canción, la canción del Coqui. Empezamos en inglés y al fin del programa lo, también lo vamos a cantar en Español. So now I'm going to sing the Coqui song one time So you people who are new. Marcus, hold that question. We're going to come to you in one second. Hold that question. I'm going to sing it one time in English so we can learn the melody for those that are new to Cookie Club. And then on the second time, we're going to unmute everybody and we're going to sing it together. So, primero, uh, Julia lo va a cantar en inglés y de sola y después juntos lo vamos a cantar todos juntos. Marcus, do you have a question about the Cookie song? Is that what your question is? You have to unmute yourself. No? You want to hold off? Oh, there you go. Um, Did you want? Uh, I can't do it in Spanish. Why not? Because I don't know Spanish. That's why you're at the cookie club. Oh, That's no worries. You can follow along, I'm sure. You will definitely be able to follow along. And if 
you have a grown up there, the words will be on the screen and they will, they can help you as well. Don't worry about it. I'm glad you brought that up though. Okay, so here we go. One, two, three. The koki, the koki so delights me. With its song, I like going to sleep. Every night when I lie on my pillow, the koki says good night from the tree. Koki, 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 kiki, ki, koki, 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 ki, ki, ki. So can everyone sing along with Edwin and I on this next try? Yeah? Well, I'm listo everybody. para cantar con nosotros. Yeah, here we go. We're going to mute everybody. Hmm. A what? Hold on. We got to got to mute everybody. Nothing. Okay, we've I think we're ready. Are we ready? Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay. One, two, Countdown. Three. Give me the okay. one. One, two, three. The koki, the koki so delights me. With this song, I like going to sleep. Every night when I lie on my pillow. The, the cookie says good night from the tree. Nice job. Muy bien, amiguitos. Nice, nice job. Great singing. So today we are going to do something special. We are going to look at a painting. If we were at the museum, we'd go into the gallery and look at it. But today we get to look at it in our homes on the screen. Can everybody see this painting? Yes. Yeah? Sí, hoy vamos a observar una pintura y hablar sobre él. Obsérvalo ahora. ¿Qué, qué nos pueden, qué pueden ver? ¿Qué nos puede decir que observa en la pintura? But what do people notice? What do our friends, cookie friends, notice about this painting? And pueden decir una forma, pueden decir un color, una figura. You can talk about a shape, about a color, about a figure. What do you notice? Marcus, do you, what do you notice? Hold on. Girls go are sitting on chairs like you see Marcus. Next yeah. to her mama. <laughs> or her grandma. I like the way you said or her grandma. We don't know exactly, but that that's where we're thinking that. What makes you think that it could be a mama or a grandma, Marcus? Because it has a, a pretty shirt. Because mamas and grandmas wear pretty shirts? Definitely, that could be a reason it's, yes. it, it is, yeah. Si, sí, Marcus and, piensa que es una mujer, quizás una abuela, una mamá, por okay. la ropa que tiene puesto. Right. And what, what about, what makes the, the shirt so special? What makes you notice the shirt? There's flowers on it. Yes, oh, flowers. Very That's good, great. Marcus. Muy bien. Ariana, do you see anything special or that you notice in this painting? Sí, Marcus notaba que habían flores en la ropa de la mujer. Go ahead. Um, no. What do you see? What's that? Can you tell us a color you see? What do you see the woman holding? Baby. Oh. Babies. Sí, hay un and bebé. Hay un bebé. And Ariana, can I actually ask you a question? How many babies do you see in this painting? Mm, One, One two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So many babies. Fifteen. Sixteen. Fifteen babies. Sixteen babies. Do you think their house is loud with sixteen babies? Maybe, right? <laughs> A lot of babies. Sixteen babies. Yeah, oh, oh, you have a baby too. Babies. 
There's 16, baby. There's Michael seven. dice que hay 16. 16, 16, wow. What about the diff, does anybody see any birds? Do you see any birds, Edwin? Sí, yo veo un pajarito. You, I can see a bird. Birds. Maybe, do you see more than one? Oh, ahora que me lo pregunta, sí. Now that you ask, I can see more than one bird. I, yeah. I can see three birds. You, you can oh, see three Michael, birds? Michael, you see three birds? Michael, look at the little girl sitting on the chair in her arm. I, there's a fourth bird. Do you see the fourth bird? Ah. Ah, right? It, it looks like a dog. It looks, like, <laughs> it a looks dog. like a dog. Yeah. So that's what's so great, everybody. The more we look at this painting, the more we start to notice different things and more yeah. details. And what do we notice behind the people? Really? Oh, good question, Edwin. Yeah. Four. There's Guess more birds. There's more There's birds? Four. Ah, There's cuatro four pajaritos. Four. That's right. Pero There's qué four. más se puede ver a, atrás de las personas? Qué se puede ver atrás de las personas? Like behind the what people you, in the background. What do you notice behind the people? Does anybody have something? Do you see a shape or a color? Something you've seen before? Can I? I think Michael's can I, speaking. Oh, Michael's speaking. Okay. Can we unmute Michael? Thank you. Michael, can you repeat that? Um, it's plants. Plants. Very good. Se ven muchas plantas, sí. There are a lot of plants. A lot, a lot, a lot. Yeah, they're, tall. they're taller than one tree. They're, they're taller than one tree. It's, and do you notice, everyone, how this artist used the entire canvas? They used up all the space on their paper. So there's, there's, there's a color and they're different brush strokes that's a fancy way of saying the way the paint hits the, the paper or canvas the entire thing is full 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 sí, el canvas está llenísimo tiene muchos detalles uno también puede ver los brochazos y la pincelada del artista mm -hmm. como puso la pintura en la pin, en, en el canvas con muchos right. colores muchos colores Lots of colors and their dots and lines and splats, um, like dabs. It's all fancy ways of saying different types of uh, brush strokes. Trazo de pincel is how you say it in Spanish, right, Edwin? Yes, very right. So can I tell everybody something? Can we go to the next slide and we're going to just look at it for one second? Oh, I think that'd be great. So this is the same artist, everyone. Ah, sí, es parecido. And Edwin, I notice more birds in this one. Do you see more birds? Hmm. I don't know if I see more birds. Pienso que veo este. Ah, ahora sí. Ahora que lo estoy mirando muy bien, puedo ver que tiene más pájaros que, que el, el, la pintura de antes. Has more what? birds than the one before. More birds. And it also has, what it's at the bottom, on the left and on the right. Ariana, I see you have a raised hand. They're crying. They're oh, crying. They're I crying. like that you noticed that. They are crying. How can you tell Ariana that they're crying? What makes you think that? Because I see lines. Where do you see the lines? By their eyes. Mm. By their eyes, Muy right? Muy bien, Ariana. <laughs> yep. Uno puede ver las líneas blancas. Cerquita los ojos. What did you want to add, Michael? Um, I see one bird. Mm hmm You see one bird? You see only one bird? And there's three more birds left. There, there you go. What about at the bottom of the screen? Does anybody see a boat? Barco? Four. There's four. There's one, 
two, three, four, five. <laughs> there five are points. one, two. Five birds, right? Five birds. So we're going to move on, but I do want to tell you something that this artist that made these beautiful paintings, her name is, it's, it's a very long name. It's Lucien Saint Florent. That's a super long name, right? And she's a woman. And if we go to our next slide, we're going to see a picture. This is la, the artist. Artista Lucia San Loran está en la foto. Es una mujer. Se puede ver con otra obra de ella. Sí. You can see she's holding another painting. And you can see that the style and some of the images are quite similar to what we saw before. That's a picture. And I'm going to tell Ariana, I'm going to get to you because I know you have a question in one second. I just want to let you know that this artist, Lucia San Florent, she's from an island called Haiti. Oh. Yeah. Lucia so San Florent go, viene de la isla de Haiti. That's right. Se so, puede um, ver en la mapa. Se puede ver en la mapa. Ariana, I know you're eagerly been having your hand raised. Did you want to ask something or tell us something? There was babies in the other picture too. There oh, were babies yes. in the other pictures. So this artist, she, a lot of her paintings have pictures of families and moms and babies. Mm -hmm. A lot of these things are, are, are themes. They're called, it's a fancy way of saying these are subjects. These are things that she likes to paint about. And if we look now at the map, we can see the yellow is the island of Haiti. And look, it's surrounded by lots of water in the Caribbean Sea. And we can, if, if you don't know how to read, your grown-up can point out for you where Puerto Rico is. And that's where the cookie's from. Ah, la Everybody, parte amarilla que uno observa en la mapa en la isla es Haití. También cerquita de Haití se encuentra Puerto Rico. Está en la parte derecha de la mapa. It starts with a P, Puerto Rico, P. And Haiti starts with an H. Sí, Puerto Rico se puede ver en la mapa y se identifica porque tiene la letra P como perla. Y Haití es H. H. Um, Ariana, you have your hand raised again. Did you have another question or comment that you wanted to share? No, that was from before. Okay. Michael's raising his hand. What's, tell us, Michael, what do you want to... I think you have to unmute yourself. Is your grown-up there to unmute you, Michael? There you go. Um, I see uh, Urban this next painting. Oh, you you saw something on the next painting that you wanted to tell us about? Yeah. It yeah. has the earth. It has the earth? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can we maybe go back to the previous slide? Yes. This one? No, I think the map has the, has the earth. Oh, on. you're saying the map has. I'm sorry, Michael. I misunderstood. Yes, it does. That's, that's a great observation. And the you see the little black box on the earth? They're showing us where AT is. You need that's the little square. The little square box, the that's very, right. Very, very small oh. square. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so now we're going to go to one of our other favorite parts. We are going to read today, but we're not reading a story. We're doing something a little bit different. We're reading poems. Ah, vamos a leer poesía hoy. Vamos a hablar po de poesía. De poesía. And we will be reading poems written by children from Haiti, the island, the country where the artist is from. And the, it's called Haiti, My Country. And ah. this, this book describes some of the things the authors the poet see while living there. Sí, hoy leemos algunos poemas escritos por niños en Haití. El libro se llama Haití, mi país. Este and, libro describe oh, sorry. las cosas que los autores ven mientras viven allí. 
that's right. So, and um, we wanted to tell you that reading poems helps you use your imagination and helps you explore how you're feeling inside. And it's a lot like looking at artwork. Sí, leer poemas te ayuda a usar tu imaginación y explorar tus sentimientos. El escritor selecciona palabras por su ritmo y por su sonido. Algunos poemas riman, otros son simples y otros son divertidos. So the writer of poems does this by choosing words because of the way they sound or their rhythm. Some poems rhyme, some are super simple, and some are just funny. And today we're going to read two poems written by children from AD. So should we get started? Sí, vamos a empezar ahora. Okay, let's read the first poem. I love a flower, a fruit, a cottage, a man, a multitude of things, the color purple, a small house of straw, a red bird on my roof, a flamboyant mauve yellow, red pink blossom, one flower, a bouquet of flowers, a fig, a green fig, a green window, a thatched cottage of stone, a red mango, another green, an adorned verdant countryside, a living root, a better life, a country. Qué palabras más hermosa. What a beautiful poem. It is a beautiful poem. And now we're going to read it. Edwin's going to read it to us in Spanish and then we can talk about it for a minute or two. ¿Están listo? Sí, Yo Edwin. amo una flor, una fruta, una cabaña, un hombre, una multidad de cosas, el color púrpura, una pequeña casa de paja, un pájaro rojo en mi techo, un flamboyán, brotes de color malva amarillo, rojo rosa, una flor, un ramo de flores, un higo verde, una ventana verde, una cabaña de piedra con techos de paja, un mango rojo y otro verde, un campo adornado y frondoso, una raíz viva, una vida mejor, un país. Wow. Those are a lot of fancy words, but I think we should think about the first line of the poem. It says, yo amo, I love. Can everybody tell me one thing that they love? Oh. Everybody tell us one thing that they love. It can be one word or it can be a sentence. Michael, do you want to tell us Una something you love? Una cosa que aman. ¿Quién nos puede decir? We can come back to you. Oh, you've got a baby too. So many babies. Go ahead. Yeah. You can talk. What What's I just like a mango. You love a mango. Oh, hold on to that thought. That's an exciting thought because we're going to read something about mangoes next. Ariana, what do you love? Ariana, are you there? The flowers. You love flowers. The flowers. Okay. Hold on to that thought. Marcus, what about you? I don't see Marcus uh, right now. Okay, we... Are you still with us, Marcus? There you go. Yes, I am. Hi, Marcus. What do you love? Uh, I love... Uh, I love... Excavators. What? what? You know that, Isaac. Excavators. 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 That's... <laughs> okay, let's go move on. Let's see. Um, Marnia. Do you want to tell us something that you love? Algo que amas. Nos puede decir una cosa. We can come back to you. You just raise your hand when you're ready because it looks like you're having a snack. Gianna, do you want to tell us something that you love? Gianna nos puede decir algo que tú amas. 
es posible. I like um, playing with dogs. You oh. like playing with dogs, jugar con perros, con los animales. And I also like reading a book series. Oh, you also you like love reading. reading a book series. Le encanta leer, muy bien. Edwin, what do you love? Hmm, what do I love? You know, I love my mom. And I love my cat. And I also really love comic books. Oh. That's a good one. I also love my family and I love chocolate. Oh, oh. I do love chocolate. So we are going to go on to our next poem. And this poem I will read to you and then Edwin's gonna read it to you in Spanish just like we did before. Ripe mango, fresh mango, yellow mango, mango in between mango clusters balance yourself below the branch produce more mangoes that taste of honey and delight for the lovers of the universe all while preparing your supply of light hmm so now edwin's going to read it to us in espanol muy bien gracias julia Mango maduro, mango fresco, mango amarillo, mango intermedio, patas de mango. Valenciate por debajo de la rama. Produce más mangos. El sabor a miel y placer para los amantes del universo. Todo mientras preparas tu fuente de luz. Beautiful. In both English and Spanish, don't you think, Edwin? Oh, yes. I think the words are very beautiful. I especially like how it talks about the universe. The universe. And can I tell everybody something? If you notice, both the, the first poem and the second poem talk about mangoes. That's because they grow a lot of mangoes in Haiti. Mm. So that's why these children are thinking about mangoes because it's such an important part of their life and their culture. Sí, es verdad. Los mangos se encuentran mucho en Haití. So we are going to talk about the art activity that we're going to send to your grown-ups via email. And we were hoping that you might want to do something similar to um, what these children in Haiti did, which is think about words that you like or have an interesting sound, and then you can write them on a piece of paper, you can cut them out of the magazine. You can glue them on a piece of paper and see how the words form together. And then you can draw a picture describing the words or describing something that you feel or someone that you love, or even like these kids did something they like to eat. So Edwin and I did this together. Edwin picked out some amazing words from a magazine and where what else did you use magazines and what else edwin to make your, to cut eh, up your words solo se revistas only solo magazines revistas. Sí, solo revistas pero sé que se pueden encontrar en otros lugares también you can also find the words in different places right maybe it's absolutely a news, it's a newspaper or maybe it's like a sales circular or maybe right. it's like a cereal box yep. se pueden encontrar palabras en muchos en muchos lugares no solamente revistas. And this is just one idea, but we would love to see what ideas you and your grown-ups come up with. So Edwin picked out the words. Edwin eligió estas palabras. And when I read the words, cuando leí estas palabras, pensé, these, I drew the pictures of what made me think of these words. So when he pasted the word see, I thought of an I. And when he pasted the word new, nuevo, I thought of a regalo, a present. And when he pasted the word color, I thought of a rainbow. But that was just, that's what Edwin and I thought of. So we want to see what you all come up with. We can't do this activity right now, 
but we're going to send it to you all so you all can do it on your own and then you can um, put it on your social media accounts if your grownups let you and you can hashtag el museo or cookie hashtag uh, you can hashtag el museo in tu casa or hashtag Coqui Club, and then we can all see the beautiful work you did. Sí, la actividad este, te lo van a mandar eh, en, electronic, en correo electrónico, uh, como lo siempre hacemos aquí en Coqui Club. Se puede hacer con palabras como hicimos nosotros en el primer papel, que, lo cortó, que lo, yo lo corté de revistas, pero puede, puede encontrar las palabras en otros lugares también, quizá en un periódico, por ejemplo. Y Julia... Después que yo terminé hacer eh, mi collage con, con las imágenes de las palabras, hizo un dibujo con las palabras, con cosas que ella, pens ella pensaba y vio en su mente cuando pensaba de esa palabra. Cuando yo puse sí, que se, en, en, que se dice sí en inglés, en, en español se dirá, pa, es como uno ver con los ojos, y eso es porque eh, Julia es, eh, dibujó un ojo, por ejemplo. Y color, color, en inglés, ella eh, dibujó un arco iris. También pueden hacer algo parecido en la casa. No es posible hacerlo ahora con nosotros porque no tenemos tiempo. Pero después, no. en otra ocasión, lo pueden hacer. Definitely, definitely. And whoever talked about mangoes, maybe you want to think about mangoes too. They said oh, you loved mangoes. That's a really great idea. Yeah. So now we, the time has come for us to wiggle our arms, roll our head. Oh, yes. Sí, vamos and a to, la cabeza. exactly. And to sing our coqui song in Español. Oh, ya llegamos a ese tiempo. Yep. It's at that time. And we are going to unmute everyone and we're going to sing all together, Todos one juntos. time. Estamos Todos listo. juntos. Okay. Estoy, estoy lista. A, okay. Eh, a la una, a la dos, a dos y a tres. A las tres. El, el coqui, coqui, el coqui, el coqui siempre, siempre canta. canta. Es muy lindo el, lindo cantar, el cantar del coqui. Del coqui. Por, las, Por noches, las noches a veces, a veces duermo. duermo. Con el dulce, Con el dulce cantar, cantar del coqui. Coqui, 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 today's lesson about the artist Lucien Saint Florent and about Haiti and reading our poems. También queremos decir una cosa antes de irnos. Eh, da, te, queremos darte las gracias por eh, estar con nosotros hoy en Coquitl Club y esperamos que lo pasaron bien, pero queremos decirle a los padres que no se olviden llenar el censo porque este solo es hasta el fin de septiembre. Y sí. el censo es muy importante porque solo sucede cada 10 años. Todas las, este, toma solo cinco minutos para llenarlo. Eh, el gobierno utiliza el censo para determinar la financiación de nuestras comunidades en los años que vienen. Hasta oh. ahora en 2020census.gov. <laughs> so I'm just going to tell your grown-ups one, one last thing. Parents, don't forget the census is here, and it only happens every 10 years. It takes five minutes, so do it now and get counted now at 2020census.gov. For more information about upcoming events at El Museo, log on to elmuseo.org and follow us on all our social media accounts. And please remember to use hashtag Coqui Club or hashtag El Museo en Tu Casa when posting pictures. This is our time to say goodbye and adios, Coquis. We loved spending time with you today. And adios, we hope coquis. to see you next time. Nos vemos pronto.